Welcome back to the channel everybody. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Today I want to take you on a brief tour of the Moscow Industrial Railroad so you can see a bit about what the railroad is, where it exists, and how it operates. We're not going to do any operation today. I'll have a separate video for that, but this one is all about how to operate the Moscow Industrial. In this railroad we love to refer to it as the Mosey. <laughs> We're going to start over here in the West Yard. So this is the Mosey West Yard. This is where the KCS comes in and interchanges with the Mosey. Uh, and also where the KCS interchanges with the Cotton Belt. I do have quite a bit of work to do on this yard in the sense that I need to kind of clean up the tracks a bit. Uh, get some alignment issues fixed. Also I need to add some scenery, get the road replaced, you know, actually make it look like a workable yard. And then of course it needs to be populated with cars. But this track, or yard, sorry, has 11 tracks. So it has nine tracks for uh, sorting cars for their different industries. Moscow has nine major industries served by the Mosey. So here in the West Yard, we kind of use this as our main classification track. Uh, the yard is far bigger than it ever really needs to be. That is not really how I wanted to do it on the route itself, but I did want to make it that way for ease of operation for those of you guys so that uh, as you mess with the route and engage with it you know you might decide that you want to change things up and use the yard for something else and I wanted the ability to be there as opposed to not having enough space uh, but we have the nine tracks for classifying cars we do have a double ladder and then we also have uh, two tracks over on the right for building and breaking down any trains that come from the KCS specifically for Moscow so the way this works is you have a KCS local that comes in with cars only bound for Moscow that's uh, then interchanged with the Mosey. The Mosey classifies all the cars and then uh, starts switching them out at their industries, which I will show you in just a minute. But uh, before we do that, let's head over to the East Yard. All right, this is the Mosey East Yard. So the East Yard is for direct interchange with the Cotton Belt. We have six tracks on the left. Uh, four of those are for uh, industries. So we have, uh, we have two tracks where we set out cars for industries on this side of the cotton belt and you'll see what I mean in just a minute this is technically the east side of the cotton belt and we have two tracks for setting out cars bound to the west side of the cotton belt which is where the west side yard is and then we have two tracks here that we kind of keep open for any cars that are picked up to be uh, sent out on the cotton belt so that we can do some classification and uh, after like after we have them all in the yard we can pull them out and classify them these three tracks kind of to the right here are where we interchange with the cotton belt so cotton belt trains uh, come in, they either drop off or pick up or both if they need to, and then they head on their way. And then the Mosey, of course, does all of the switching. Now, the Mosey does have its own uh, livery. We have uh, four SW1500s and we have a bay window caboose. So thanks to my friend J Class Fan 09 for making those for me. Uh, not sure how we're going to do release on those. I will figure that out later and announce that later, but for now... We're just talking about how all of this works. So when a train comes in from the cotton belt, it leaves cars uh, like you see these five cars here. Those were left by a recent train that I ran through here for a video. And then the Mosey picks those up, classifies them according to their destinations here in the yard. And then if they need further classification over in the West Yard, they get sent over to the West Yard. Typically, cars that come in to the Mosey from the cotton belt are... Uh, only send cars to be classified in the west if they're going to uh, the five industries that are on the other side of the cotton belt the four industries here on the east side usually they just go ahead and switch them out uh, immediately it's much more efficient to do that so let's now pause and stop talking about the yards and go take a tour of the industries all right like anything over here the industries are roughed in they are in place as far as their building scope but they don't have any fine details so we will be fixing all that later but this is a box plant. Their job is for making packaging for materials. So this industry, although its loadout is small, its car frequency is high because you can ship a loaded box car from here to any industry on the entire route, uh, as well as shipping things off map. So now let's move over here to the right a bit. This is a paint plant. Uh, the paint plant also ships out paints and dyes and such uh, to any industry on the map uh, to be involved in their packaging. Uh, there's also a print materials industry that you can ship boxes and paint to as well, specifically to make print materials. And then those are shuffled off to industries as well. So not only did we create industries here on the route, but I also created 
uh, industries to serve those industries. So I felt like that would be cool. That would add a lot of car loads and things like that. So this here, these three tracks are the uh, paint mill. All right, and then here on the left, we have an ammonium sulfate plant. So the ammonium sulfate plant uh, brings in sulfuric acid in tank cars and ships out ammonium sulfate in bulk form. This is used in fertilizers as well as some other things, uh, but there's only really one industry uh, on the route that receives ammonium sulfate, so any loads that don't go to that industry would have to go off map. And then over here to the right, we have a very important industry. This is the textile mill, so they receive all kinds of uh, leathers, linens, fabrics, cotton, wools, all that kind of stuff, and they make them into all kinds of finished or intermediate goods. So we can make uh, fabrics, uh, we can make uh, full-on textiles, clothes, jeans, furniture, stuff, you know, all the kind of clothery or hosiery needs that you would need uh, for any of those later products are made here. So the furniture plant over in the town of Med does receive uh, loaded boxcars from here uh, with fabrics that they can use for making the furniture. So there are several places that you can ship um, textiles from, but this is the textile mill. Those four industries that we just looked at, those are the ones that are directly served by the East Yard. So now let's take a tour of the remaining five industries. So we go up the hill over here. So this is where we cross the cotton belt. So this cotton belt main below here. And then this is the Mosey. So the Mosey crosses over to get to the west side. And then you have the west side yard over here. You're also looking at the Y where the KCS interchanges with the cotton belt. So these three tracks over here are the interchange yard for the KCS with the cotton belt directly. The Mosey does not do any work in this yard. Uh, but the Mosey does own this yard back here. This is the West Yard, and they own the East Yard over there on the left. All right, so we have a fuel serving uh, service facility for receiving sand and diesel to serve KCS locomotives. Uh, there's also a fuel service facility on the other side. I'll show you a minute for uh, the Mosey. This is a shingle plant. I modeled this after a plant in an area that I grew up in. Uh, so it receives like tar, aggregates like gravel, things like that, and it makes them into shingles. And then we ship those shingles out in uh, boxcar loads. So once again, the industry's roughed in, the final details are not. All right, then over here we have, uh, let's see, we have a brewery. I believe this is the brewery, if I remember correctly. Uh, let's see what else we have over here. I'm drawing a quick blank. Um, oh, we also have a distillery. The distillery is here. So distillery receives different types of produce, glass bottles, that kind of stuff, and makes spirits. The brewery, as we all know, receives grains and makes beer. Uh, let's see, this plant, this plant here. Ah, this is the sweetener plant. Yes, we have a sweetener plant where we make corn sweetener. So we receive, uh, you know, bulk corn and things, and then we can make all your lovely high fructose corn syrups and all that good stuff. We have a yeast plant back here. This does not receive a lot of traffic, but uh, we do... Uh, ship out yeast in tank cars. I did do some reading on that actually and that is actually a real thing I never thought it would be but it is uh, So there are the five industries four there and one here that we consider on the other side of uh, The cotton belt the thing to note is all of these switches are facing point switches if you're switching from uh, the West Yard so the West Yard crew tends to switch these five industries and the East Yard crew tends to switch these four industries. So when you run the Mosey, you're going to have two crews. Uh, you can run it, obviously, in single player. Just take turns with each crew, do what you need to do. But typically, any cars that are received in the East Yard that need to go to the five industries up the hill are typically first run over to the West Yard and classified. And then they can be picked up by the West Yard crew and shoved up the hill uh, to be switched. I will say this grade here is pretty steep. Chances are, with just two SW1500s, you're probably not going to be able to pull more than 1500 to 2000 tons uh, up that hill. And you can probably shove even less. So just something to think about for those of you guys like myself who'd like to run in realistic mode. You will see some of these turns are tight. That is because it is a switching railroad. That is probably not going to change. Looks like I need to fix that switch there. So this has been our brief tour of the Mosey. If there are any questions about how to operate this, please feel free to let me know. Ask some questions. Uh, because if you do that quickly, I can make sure to address those questions when I do the video uh, where we actually operate this. So here are two more SW1500s. Here is the fueling facility for the Mosey. And then lastly, way over here out of the way, is our 
Mosey Bay Window Crews. So thanks again for joining, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed this shorter form video today. But uh, I know there has been a lot of interest in the Moscow Industrial Railroad. So take care, and we will talk to you guys soon.